Oh, uh, what's up, guys? Um, so today I got a new shipment of uh, dog proof traps in, and I figured I'll do a review on them and show you how I'm modifying them to work a little better uh, for myself. Uh, before I get into it, though, um, these are the um, Wolf Creek uh, Diablo traps uh, from Wolf Creek Products, and just to begin on how I got these, uh, when I was at Fort Lee, Virginia, uh, I was on Trapper Man one day, and I was like, hey, does um, anybody have any reviews on uh, uh, the Wolf Creek Diablo trap? How good is it? You know, I was just asking questions. And I get inbox from the owner, I think it was, of Wolf Creek, and he was like, hey, I saw you asking some questions. I would like to uh, send you one because uh, I want you to be able to, uh, you know, see for yourself our product and see how good it is. So I was like, okay. Um, so I get back from training. He has sent it. And actually, this is the exact one I got sent. Um, Wolf Creek Diablo, Wolf Creek Products, and guys, to be honest, um, I'm, I'm really pleased with these traps, and um, furthermore, I'm pleased with the company, I'm really happy with the company, um, I wasn't asking for anything free at all, I was not asking, hey, can I get some free traps to review, um, I was not ask, asking that at all, but, um, that company went out their way to um, try and prove themselves to a customer, and that really shows something about a company. So, I, I give props to Wolf Creek Products. I will definitely be um, purchasing more of their products. But anyway, um, the Diablo is. I have to put some pictures up while I'm modifying. I'm making a bunch of uh, J hooks from nails right now. So. While I'm talking, I'll probably just put pictures up and y'all can see it, but it is a very economically priced trap. It's only $100 a dozen. That is that is amazing, if you ask me, and I got these from um, PCS Outdoors, actually. Um, I don't buy direct from companies. It's just kind of a rule I have, nothing against anybody. I, I just don't. But they come out the box basically ready to go. Um... Uh, the only real modifications you need to do to these, you, you don't need a welder, you don't need anything fancy. Um, well, before we get into modifications, I'll just show you some of the, um, show you the trap off, up and down. It's coated, I think, or it's aluminum or something, but this is exactly how it comes. It has some pretty strong, a lot of people I've talked to said these are the strong springs out of, you know, like the Dukes, the FBs, the Bridgers. They say these are some of the strongest springs in the market, and that may be true, but they are, ex compared to like a Duke, they're just extremely easy to set. Maybe it's the way the springs are, because these are a little lower, but extremely easy to set for me. And something else I love about it is it has a clean out door. That is um, lock bolted on, and you just swipe this little door out, and you can clean out a gunk out and stuff like that that happens to it. Um, you know, if you're using cat food or something, it rains, you can just open it, you know, special tool, and swipe it back, and uh, it's clean itself. Um, it's a pull-only trigger, um, though you can modify for a push-pull. Coming right out the box... A lot of these are kind of on a hair trigger, actually. Which, you know, if you're trying to... See, this one's on a hair trigger. And I think it's just because of the coating. Uh, once you let them sit out for a while... They're, um... See? <laughs> hair trigger. Once you let them sit out for a while, like you should all your traps, um, they're a lot better, easier to work with. But, um, once again, they're a little hair triggery. Uh, something I found out, if you took a file... And you just kind of file this notch inside it a little bit to roughen it up. It works a lot better. Uh, definitely not a problem. Definitely not a problem. But just a little hair triggery. Um, comes with a straight link, straight link chain. And it's actually a pretty heavy chain. It's uh, foreign made by the looks of it. It's spot welded. But I mean, we're, we're trapping raccoons and possums, guys. Not 
freaking grizzly bear, so you really don't have to worry about it. Comes with two very nice and heavy steak um, swivels. And also, I like the staking. Uh, unlike the Duke that comes out, you have a straight rod and it has like this little squivel thing that comes out. Um, you don't get as good of a swiveling effect as this. This anchors just like this and it's a straight pull instead of like a tug. So, when it comes to non-targets like possums and stuff, I've been getting, this is probably one of the more friendly dog proofs to it. Dog proofs in general are pretty friendly, but you do get, um problems with you know slight cuts and nicks and such but i have not been having those problems with uh my wolf creek so that's what prompted me to buy more of these um wolf creek also makes uh the alcatraz the alcatraz uh, dog proof and i think that was one of the first push I, I think it's a push only it was one of the first push ones ever made and i'm i'm thinking about getting some of those um to review but so far I'm extremely happy with these and for a hundred dollars a dozen off of uh, PCS outdoors I think uh, Northern has them and then you can go to the website of mine uh, it's it's a pretty good deal if you ask me but I have to modify all my stuff just that's just who I am so the way I modify these is very very simple um, I, I really only I really want to call it modification really all I do is uh, if I take a new trap, I just randomly pick one. I'm gonna cut this top link off. Take the bolt cutters. Cut that top link off, and then I flip the chain around to the end. Stick a J hook through it. And then I hook that J hook to my trap and where my bolt cutters at. I'll just use this swager. Cool thing about a swager, you can also use it to close uh close J hooks. Works great. And that's really all I do. Yeah, and that just gives it more I do this to all my dog proof traps. Because if I catch a possum, I don't like cleaning possums if I don't have to. I don't like skinning them. I just don't. Uh, this gives a lot. This gives more swiveling. Gives me a lot less chance to have to take a possum because it's in, uh, because it got damage. So I do that. Much more swiveling, and with the way this is set up, you got a nice straight pull to it. A lot less chance of a damage to the animal. Uh, then something else I do, just for speed sake is uh, all my double ferrules uh, that sucks but I just wasted all my double ferrules um, I take a length of just cable this is some 1 by 19 564 if I usually use 332nd but this is scrap cable from when I was making snares when I messed a few up and I just Go ahead and just connect it right here. And I'll tell you guys, I got this swager the other day. And this just makes life so much easier. And I always swage it once raccoons. You really You're not gonna break out of it. Now I come on the other end. And I just put in a bigger loop. That I can fit my dog proof through. And I'll double swage this one. This good. A double swage looks nice. But really, that's all I do. So now I just have a quick way to loop this around a tree or something. Just loop it around a tree, dog proof goes in and closes on so, um, If I was road trapping, you probably bet I would probably have some uh, 
Berkshires or Wolfang Sutkies. But right now I'm not, so I can't really do it in Mississippi anyway. It's just kind of a pain. But if you're looking for a really good dog proof trap for not a lot of money at all, some that kids can use or something, I highly, highly recommend Wolf Creek products. Uh, the Diablo. So great dog proof for the great dog proof for the money. Um, and that little modification right there just it, it just really helps. That's really the only modification I can think of uh, that I really want to do to this. I can probably make it a push pull on it too, but whatever. So yeah, great little trap for the money. Um, I got my first dozen. This is my first full dozen of any trap I actually ordered. I usually just order a few at a time, but I like the trap so much I went ahead and ordered a whole dozen of them. So. Um, that's my review of it, so I uh, hope you guys found this informative, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.